Welcome back to the channel, my friends. Welcome back to Meches. This is the channel where it's all about the student and entrepreneurial ecosystem in Munich. And this time, we're going to talk about a study program which has small classes. It acts to a scholarship. You can go abroad with it. You get to really exchange with university professors and you get an honors degree. I'm talking about the Finance and Information Management, or short FIN Master, which is offered by the Technical University of Munich and the University of Bayreuth. And if you're interested in finding out all this overview and everything this is about, then stay tuned for the entirety of the video. Now let's start off with some key facts. The location is 100% in Munich, which as it is a cooperation between Technical University of Munich and University of Bayreuth is not really obvious. But basically the professors from the University of Bayreuth come to Munich and that's an incredible privilege. So you get really an interdisciplinary approach from that and you get to visit also Bayreuth at some point with some of the incredible study trips to do, but the location is primarily in Munich. Now it is taught 100% in English, which is very interesting also for our international students here. So it's a full-time study program. It's definitely not easily combined with anything which is part-time study. So it's very time intensive compared to some other maybe. So I would definitely recommend you to have that time. No tuition fees, which is insane for what you get offered really. And it lasts around four semesters and starts every winter. Now, there are two application periods. The first one is from January 1st to 15th of March. And the second one is from the 16th of March to the 31st of May. So keep that in mind when applying. So what are the main value propositions? The first one is that the classes are very, very small. So my study class was around 20 to 25 people so we were very very small and i mean the classes itself like for example i had one with professor Erzberger in international accounting and we were like five people with a professor i mean that is insane the students to professor ratio is incredibly attractive and i feel like you really have to push yourself then interact more with the professor and just really get to absorb the knowledge in a different way the second one is that there are corporations with a lot of renowned universities, institutes and scientists and that is really part of the program that you kind of develop into that scientific thinking through research phases through going abroad. The third one is that you really get the support from the Autonematum and the TUM Entrepreneurship Research Center. So if you're coming from somewhere else, the TUM really prides itself in being an entrepreneurial university. So that is something you also get to experience. Now, the FIM was actually founded in 2004, um, introduced in the framework of the lead network of Bavaria, and at the beginning it was a cooperation between Augsburg, Bayreuth and Munich, and uh, yeah, it's just been a success since then, really, and it has been on excellent positions in a lot of the rankings. So, at the moment, as I said, it's part of Munich and Bayreuth. And yeah, it just offers you really a great combination in terms of finance and information management and really gets to also offer you kind of the benefits of having a very small class with a big alumni network and just a lot of individualized, personalized opportunities, but we'll get into all of that. Now, as I said, it's definitely something which might be interesting to a lot of people because it's quite an interdisciplinary study program, so you can really choose whether you want to go more into finance, whether you want to go more into the mathematical part of it or into the data part of it. So it really depends on your individual needs. So if you hold a bachelor's from economics, from engineering, from information systems, computer science, mathematics, or any of these related study fields, then definitely consider applying. And I teased at the beginning that this is also a program where you get a certificate of honors. Now, as I said with CDTM, who have the Master of Science with Honors, this is kind of a similar approach. So how do you get this? So basically you get the certificate of honors from the Tool School of Management at the end. And the reason for this is that you kind of do more than what would be required in a traditional master's study program. What I mean by that is that there are several soft school courses, summer schools, there is a research phase, and then there's also an obligatory social project, which kind of, if you've done all of that cumulatively, you can get, receive that certificate of honors. Now, for me, for example, the social project was actually working with elderly people. So it was very interesting because there is like an 
elderly center, let's say, across the Technical University of Munich, and we just walked over there and said, hey, we're from the film, and we want to kind of interact, and we cooked, and it was just a very wholesome, nice experience, and I was very surprised that thus far, nobody from the Technical University of Munich had actually interacted with them, although it was so near. But there were other projects which were, for example, with Ukrainian children or kind of financial education and financial literacy. So there were different projects which you could kind of get into. Now the individual research phase, I'm going to do a whole other video on how that went for me and how to kind of overcome your scientific imposter syndrome. But basically it's where during your time at FIM you should publish or let's say create a paper which is which could be accepted at a conference or at a journal. Best case scenario, it is accepted at a conference. And that is just part of this. So you get also an academic and a from industry mentor, which we're going to talk about in just a second. But these are kind of, the idea of the film really is that you get an excellent education because you have very small classes and you get a lot of interaction with the professors, but you should also be shaped as an individual as a whole. So that means looking at the social perspective, giving back, thinking about scientific approaches and just kind of honing you on, on different levels. So we did also in terms of soft skill courses, for example, we were interacting with a psychologist where we had to write letters to everybody from the class. And that sounds very cringy maybe at the beginning, but it's just very interesting because you really get to understand also the dynamics of who are you close to, why haven't you maybe talked to this person and then you were also given feedback in terms of what should you keep doing, what should you maybe start doing, what should you stop doing and it just kind of brought us closer together and I feel like it gives everybody like a more three-dimensional perspective of their students. So that is just some of the examples. I will do more interviews and more videos on the film but basically you can really expect different offerings which are there to kind of support you and form you as a person whether that is the social project the soft skill courses or doing it in research phase now something i also want to highlight because i think it's insane is that they have a lot of scholarships for their students i myself i'm also um, a scholar from them so basically there are two versions of the scholarship there's the FIM scholarship which constitutes 500 euros per month to contribution to living expenses and then there's a film scholarship plus which is a thousand two hundred euros per month and basically everybody who applies to the master can apply to the scholarship and the idea is that you should really be able to concentrate on your studies and not be deterred from this by financial constraints or kind of have to work a lot to you know Munich is quite expensive so to kind of finance all of that now the criteria for this are excellent so kind of really being excellent in your final grade and, and you kind of what have you done professionally what kind of prizes or successes have you had but then also social impact so kind of to show them how have you engaged socially in your community what have you given back and then kind of also diversity and social circumstances so that maybe family kind of any special conditions you can kind of show that kind of yeah impacts your chances in life in general now, for the FIM Scholarship Plus, in addition, you really need to show that you have this special financial need because 1,200 euros is a lot of money and obviously if you can show them that you really need that because otherwise it would be very hard for you to study, then you might be an eligible candidate for that. Alright, so I talked a little bit about going abroad. So what can you expect? So there are different ways to go abroad. Basically, they really want to focus on the scientific though. So you can either go abroad by the individual research phase or by the master thesis. And they have a lot of cooperations with international universities in uh, whether that's mathematics, computer science, or anything else related into this field. The professors have a very, very wide network. So it's kind of their personal contacts, so you really get to see, okay, who might be the right fit there. And an individual research phase would then be like three months being abroad, for example, and then doing your master thesis in Germany, or you organize it yourself somehow else. Or the master thesis, that's kind of um, also the option I chose, for example, I did the individual research phase here in Germany. So my topic was social sustainability and digital transformation. And then 
you can go abroad kind of with the master thesis. So it just kind of depends on the professor. Everybody has their own models, what has worked for them in the past. Also, for example, if you do it in a team or if you do it individually, if that is something you are interested in, I can definitely do a deep dive onto the certificate of honors and the individual research phase and just kind of show you a little bit more. But this was just to give you like a broad overview. So I talked about mentoring and that that is really interesting and that's basically you have both an academic mentor and a professional mentor. And I feel like a professional mentor is kind of something you see a lot of times, kind of, okay, maybe you can learn from somebody who is a little bit further along the way in terms of career and just kind of career planning and personal development. And um, I love talking with my mentor. He's just always so supportive and just kind of, just somebody you can kind of relate to and who has gone through the program itself and can really say, okay, this worked for me this way or something. So this kind of also part of the lovingly called family or like the film network kind of film. They're very, very close knit. So it's kind of nice to have somebody who is your professional mentor who also went through the program itself. And then the other part, which I feel like is very unique is the academic mentor. So a lot of people from film in the past have done their PhDs so they're really there to kind of help you okay how does my how do I choose my courses for the master like how do I go abroad what is my research based topic and they really know a lot in terms of how do you write papers and just kind of guide you throughout the process and that's been incredibly valuable to me all right let's conclude this little overview video with admission so what do you need to do to apply first off you need to have a bachelor's degree as i said in some of the topics which would be statistics mathematics economics management information systems anything along these areas then you need to have five ECTS in scientific writing done that could be the bachelor thesis a project a scientific paper or anything else so you as I said, it's, there is a focus on doing scientific work during the film, so that's kind of to ensure that you have some basics of scientific work, but I think most people who have done their bachelor thesis will be fine here. Then there's also the GMAT score, which you need to show if you're coming from the countries of China, India, Pakistan, Egypt or Bangladesh. And then you also need to have an English certificate and just smaller things like things which you might need to do at the TUM. Um, yeah, so this is just kind of to give you a little bit of a general overview. This is an incredibly interesting program. I will also do a kind of comparison between the TUM or called Technology Management Master and the Film Study Program. So, because I feel like a lot of people are then like confused, what is the actual difference here? So I wanted to give you like a first overview on what it is all about look at the application and if you have any more questions definitely feel free to reach out until then all the best <laughs>